ओके जी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ब्रेक्स एंड क्लचेस ठीक है जी एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर फ्रिक्शनल ब्रेक्स एंड क्लचेस नाउ व्हाट इज अ ब्रेक अ ब्रेक इज अ डिवाइस दैट वुड either uh, stop a motion uh, or it would uh, slow down um, a motion theek hai um and um, if if you if you have seen brakes uh brakes can be of different types for example they can be uh, mechanical brakes uh uh there can be hydraulic brakes um and there can be um electric brakes theek hai ji to um <clears throat> these are you know the different types of brakes generally मैकेनिकल uh, ब्रेक्स जो होंगे दे आर फ्रिक्शनल ब्रेक्स दे ऑपरेट यूजिंग फ्रिक्शन ठीक है जी तो एंड व्हाट टू हाउ डू ब्रेक्स वर्क इज दैट इफ देयर इज देयर इज अ डिवाइस दैट हैज मोशन इन इट तो हाउ डज इट स्टॉप दैट मोशन और स्लो डाउन दैट मोशन इज दैट इट वुड absorb energy theek hai to it would absorb energy and uh, uh, that abs absorption of energy would either stop it or um, or it will slow down theek hai ji for example yahan pe agar aap dekhen to let's say that we have uh, this um, uh, shaft theek hai ji uh, there is this one shaft Uh, which has a mass um, and that mass has inertia i1 and let's say that it is rotating at speed omega 1 theek hai ji there is another uh, mass that a that has inertia i2 and let's say that it is rotating at uh, some angular velocity omega 2 theek hai ji now um <clears throat> before uh, looking at this uh, hum uh, let's see uh, how would a brake work is that let's say that this omega 2 jo yahan pe omega 2 hai let's say that this omega 2 is equal to 0 theek hai ji so if it is equal to 0 and uh, if i apply brakes brakes would mean that if i join these two uh the, these two shafts together somehow so what is going to happen is that these two with the help of these two surfaces let's say if i have these two frictional surfaces if i bring them together what is going to happen to this um to this uh, omega 1 if um uh, omega 2 is equal to 0 so what is going to happen is that uh, if they both touch each other there is going to be some slip over here theek hai ji uh and eventually uh if they be come in contact that that uh, uh such that this becomes almost one shaft uh, omega 1 is eventually going to be equal to 0 or it will reduce uh to some value theek hai ji so uh, that is the application of break and due to that slip slip um ya uh, or rubbing of these two surfaces with each other there is going to be uh, some uh, in due to friction uh, there is going to be some energy uh, that is uh, generated and that is heat energy and we need to absorb that heat and uh, that the, the, the that is the absorption of the motion jo jo motion ki energy hai usko heat mein convert uh, that that will convert into heat and therefore uh, this uh, mass with inertia i1 is going to come to stop or it is going to slow down so that is going to be a break 
Now, in uh, cases uh, where let's say that we have, um, um, we, we have a, a, a clutch, so what does a clutch do? Uh, a clutch basically, uh, it's it's almost um, uh, if if we uh, talk about a clutch. So what would a clutch do? Is let's say let's define a clutch. Uh, clutch clutch basically uh, engages. Uh, it is a device that engages and disengages. Uh, A moving part and a stationary part part so that the stationary part starts rotating um, for example um, engine take it engine is uh, rotating you have a clutch and uh, with that clutch uh, you transmit power um, to the gearbox and then from the gearbox to the driving shaft and then from the diamond driving shafts to the to the wheels of an automobile okay so uh, clutch uh, kya karta hai? for example yaha pe agar aap dekhe, so let's say that we have uh, this clutch and um, uh, this clutch is uh, basically uh, doing what? Okay, uh, if if uh, if this is uh, with uh, if this um, if this uh, mass it has inertia i one, uh, it is rotating with some angular velocity omega one, and um, here this mass has inertia i two, rotating with omega two if um, let's say that this <coughs> omega 2 is uh, yeah omega 1 is 0 or omega 2 is 0 either either one of them can be 0 and if we bring them together um, uh, if you bring them together uh, over here so what's going to happen is that the velocities of both of these are going to become the same and again uh, there's going to be uh, first uh, firstly there is going to be slip uh, there's going to be heat generated and again there's going to be energy um, absorption over here um, and uh, um, uh, then the velocities of both of these uh, will steady down and that are going to become uh, so that omega 1 will be equal to omega 2 uh, and that will be some velocity uh, of the system then. Okay. So, um, principally, uh, from this um, from this discussion, uh, we can say that uh, princi uh, uh, you know the principle is the same for both clutch and uh, a brake. Okay. Uh, if you look at so uh, a clutch and a brake actually uh, perform almost the same, uh, uh, their working principle is the same that due to uh, friction, uh, the velocity of one uh, uh, of this shaft is, uh, is equal to the velocity of the other. And the only difference is that in braking we want to bring the velocity to either zero or slow it down and in clutches uh, what we want to do is we want to uh, take the velocity to a certain value and transmit power with a clutch. Okay. So um, <clears throat> we can treat brakes and clutches the same. Okay. Our uh, brakes or clutches honge, principally uh, we can treat them the same. Okay? So let's say, uh, for example, um, pe hum, uh, kuch brakes or clutches ki baat karte hai. Now, what is important uh, over here is that our uh, brakes or clutches. Hai, um, 
we have टू सी दैट द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स इन देयर और वो क्या होंगे कि फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ ब्रेक और अ क्लच सो वट इज वट आर द थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू सी इन अ ब्रेक एंड अ क्लच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल uh what is the the actuating force eh? what is the force that we need to apply in order to um to actuate or in order to operate that uh, that uh, brake or a clutch now the second thing is uh what is the torque that is transmitted thirdly uh, the energy loss jaise abhi hum baat we were talking about uh, that there is heat generated and so what is the energy loss and since uh, we said that there is energy absorption and there is a rubbing of uh, of two uh, parts uh, against each other so what's going to happen in that case is that there is going to be energy um, uh, the the temperature is going to go high theek hai ji the temperature is going to go to rise so uh, when we are designing uh, a brake or a clutch these are the important parameters that we need to consider okay what is the actuating force theek hai ji what is the torque transmitted in case of clutch um, the energy loss and the temperature rise in in the system if the temperature rises too much then uh, the brake or the clutch is going to cease its operation theek hai ji there are different types of clutches and brakes for example hamare um, paas um, there are um, external uh, brakes theek hai ji um, there can be internal uh these are externally contracting brakes theek hai ji there can be exter- internal uh, expanding brakes uh, which you might have seen in automobiles there can be band brakes um uh, and uh, there can be um, in band brakes there might be you know a simple uh, band brake or a differential band brake so there are different types of these uh, brakes which you would have seen uh, in different uh, me- mechanical um, mechanical um, uh, systems isi tarah uh, in clutches uh, there is um, axial uh, plate clutch theek hai ji it might be single plate or it might be multiple plate uh, there are um, Uh, clutches that we use for example um cone clutch um theek hai ji so uh, etc and there are uh, different types of these clutch there are some positive um uh, en- uh, engagement clutches which do not work on friction it's only it's something like this that uh, there are teeth um um uh, in in um, in a clutch in in one part and then there is um, another um, uh, you know the other part has uh, teeth which will engage with this one to 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 form uh, for example uh, this will be the other part okay and they both will engage to connect shafts uh but again um in here if this is one shaft this is another one uh, if this one is rotating now the 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 second one is going to rotate too uh because uh, they both are now engaged with each other so this one is also going to rotate now uh, in this in these kinds of um clutches though there is no friction but engagement and disengagement a, is a problem um you have to either uh, bring it to um to to a stop to engage it or um uh, you know uh, even you will have to move one to be at the right position to uh, to align with uh, with the with the um, properly with the other one so that it can engage theek hai ji anyways uh, talking about these uh, frictional um, 
brakes and clutches, we are going to talk about some brakes and clutches. For example, uh, the first uh, brake that we are going to talk about is um, the band type clutch or brake. Jo abhi humne baat ki. Uh, we said that there are uh, band brakes, yeah, uh, and there can be a band clutch too. Um, so we are going to talk about the different parameters uh, of a band brake and a band clutch. Uh, uh, there is uh, basically um, a drum, uh, and, and this is the drum that we have. Uh, um, this drum. Um, there is um, um, a band that is wrapped around this um, around this band uh, this uh, drum so ye ek band hai. this band can be of uh, any material for example just an example leather bhi ho sakta hai um, in the case of brakes and clutches, the material that you use that should have a very high coefficient of friction because it works with that uh, uh, with friction. So you need a higher uh, coefficient of friction. So basically uh, the design is such that um, if you have uh, this drum and then you wrap a band around it. Now what do you do is pe if this is fixed uh, you can pull on this um, with some force um, uh, or some tension and um, uh, the, the, the band is going to, if uh, this is our band, hai, to this band is going to come in contact with this drum and due to friction between the band and, um, um, and the uh, the friction uh, between the band and the drum um, is going to resist the motion uh, and it is going to stop this drum from uh, rotating in this direction. Now, how does it do that? Uh, for example, we have a simple uh, band brake. Agar yahan pe aap dekhe, to if we have this simple uh, band brake, so uh, let's take. Uh, achha, isme ek baat, uh, zehen mein rakhe, ke the band is wrapping around this uh, drum. So what we will call this, ye jo hamara angle hai na, isko hum angle of wrap kahenge, which is shown over here in. Uh, in the yahan pe agar aap dekhe, to the angle of wrap is uh, shown over here uh, which starts from yahan se leke uh, that starts from here theek uh, we call it phi uh, this is our phi uh, up to here uh, where the band is wrapping around uh, this uh, uh, this uh, drum and uh, uh, this is really important because the the angle of wrap uh, uh, the more the, the band is in contact with the drum the more effective it is going to be yeah, the more frictional force it is uh, going to offer okay so let's say uh, let's just take um, a small um, angle, a very small angle, jo ke hamare paas ek chota sa angle agar hum le le. For example, um, we take um, yahan pe um, at some angle, um, at some angle theta. Thik hai, at some angle theta. Let's take this uh, very small uh, angle um, and this small angle is uh, d theta. So ye hum le lete hai. Now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, zoom it a little bit. So this is how it's going to look. Uh, if, we, if we look at the, the drum and the uh, 
the band over here let's say that the tension on this side is uh, p1 and the tension on this side is p2 okay so uh, considering this small um, uh, small um, portion of the drum uh, where where the the band over it uh, pe, if this is d theta so this is an arc um, with a radius r what is going to be the um, the length of this arc this is going to be r d theta the length of the arc is going to be r d theta since uh, d theta is really really small now the tension on one side the tension on one side is going to be different from the other side balki the tension on this side is going to be more okay so let's say if we have tension p on this side uh, we are going to have tension p plus dp on the other side okay Achha. um <clears throat> since um, uh, there is a load uh, there's going to be load uh, on on the drum so let's say that the normal um uh, to that is uh, the normal of that is dm okay or uh, pe, uh, between the drum and the um the drum and the uh, band there's going to be a frictional force which will be the uh, the multiple of yeah it will be uh, the coefficient of friction if f is the coefficient of friction friction uh, that is the coefficient of friction so uh, uh, we are going to uh, this this force over here is going to be the uh, this is going to be the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal so fdn so uh, we got uh, to know that this fdn hoga will be p plus dp and then we are going to have p over here Achhaji. let's say agar hum is angle ko dekhe, uh, this would make a, a triangle theek hai ji yahan pe agar main a, a triangle extend karu so this will become d theta by 2 or similarly aapke paas ye bhi uh, d theta by 2 um, over here um, if i uh, split this p into rectangular components to ye mere paas do rectangular components uh, isi tarah i'll have two rectangular components over here theek hai ji so uh, let's let's have a look at these um, splitting uh, these into rectangular components and then analyzing it theek hai ji um, agar hum dekhe to <clears throat> let's take um, the, uh, the there are uh, there are um, uh, if we look at these so we have um, forces that are in the radial direction yeah uh, y direction and then we have forces in x direction so uh, to be in equilibrium let's take the sum of all the forces in x direction uh, and the sum of that should be equal to zero and the sum of forces in y direction should be equal to zero for example yahan pe agar hum dekhe, to, uh, if this is x and this is y so what are the forces in uh, in um, y direction y direction mein kon -kon si forces hai? we have dn and then a component of this and a component of this okay so this is if this is um, going to be uh, d theta so geometrically aapka ye angle this is also going to be d theta by 2 or aapka ye angle jo hai, this is also going to be uh, d theta by 2 okay so ye bhi aapka d theta by 2 hoga. now um, if we if we analyze this so uh, we have this component which should be the sine component of p plus df uh, dp and uh, this one will be the sine component of uh, p in in the y direction so uh, let's do that so if we take the summation of the forces then we will have p plus dp sine of d theta by 2 plus um, so it's this one, uh, this one component, and then 
प्लस दिस वन ठीक है जी माइनस डी एन बिकॉज डी डी एन इज अपर्ड्स तो दिस इज एन अदर कॉम्पोनेंट दैट वी विल हैव ठीक है जी तो एंड द सम ऑफ दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो ठीक है जी एंड द सम ऑफ दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू जीरो ना देखें डी थेटा जो है डी थेटा इज अ स्मॉल एंगल ठीक है जी एंड डी डी थेटा बाई टू इज अ वेरी वेरी स्मॉल एंगल बेसिकली ठीक है जी तो वट इज द साइन ऑफ अ वेरी स्मॉल एंगल साइन ऑफ अ वेरी स्मॉल एंगल इज दैट एंगल ठीक है जी तो अगर ये वही एंगल होगा हमारे पास तो कैन आई राइट यहाँ पे कैन आई से ये होगा हमारे पास पी प्लस डी पी ठीक है जी टाइम्स डी थेटा बाई टू प्लस पी डी थेटा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू डी एन ठीक है जी या आई कैन ऑल्सो से देखें यहाँ पे दिस विल बी पी डी थेटा बाई टू प्लस डी पी डी थेटा बाई टू प्लस पी डी थेटा बाई टू विच इज इक्वल टू डी एन ठीक है जी अच्छा इफ यू लुक ओवर हेयर तो एक तो हमारे पास दिस डी थेटा इज अ वेरी स्मॉल एंगल फिर डी पी इज ऑल्सो वेरी स्मॉल डिवाइडेड बाई टू तो दिस टर्म इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल सो देर फॉर वी आर गोइंग टू निगलेक्ट दिस टर्म ठीक है जी इस टर्म को हम छोड़ देते हैं ना एंड फ्रॉम हेयर दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू पी डी थेटा बाई टू इज इक्वल टू डी एन ठीक है जी या हम लिख सकते हैं कि हमारा जो डी एन है डी एन इज इक्वल टू पी डी थेटा ठीक है जी तो ये हमारा जो है डी एन इज इक्वल टू पी डी थेटा हो गया ठीक है जी नाउ यू कैन ऑल्सो नाउ टेक द सम ऑफ फोर्सेस इन एक्स डायरेक्शन तो अगेन वट फोर्सेज आर वी गोइंग टू हैव हमारे पास uh, एक तो जो है इट इज दिस कॉम्पोनेंट ठीक है जी ये वाला एंड दिस कॉम्पोनेंट एंड देन दफ डी एन ये एक्स डायरेक्शन में है सो वी आर गोइंग टू 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 यूज दीज दीज कॉम्पोनेंट्स और इसका सम हम लेंगे Uh, तो यहाँ पे अगर आप देखें तो P प्लस P प्लस डी पी कॉस ऑफ डी थेटा बाई टू माइनस बिकॉज दे आर इन ऑपोजिट डायरेक्शन तो P P कॉस ऑफ डी थेटा बाई टू माइनस एफ डी एन इक्वल टू जीरो ठीक है जी नाउ से अगेन कॉस ऑफ अ वेरी स्मॉल एंगल कॉस ऑफ A very small angle, किस के बराबर होगा Is equal to वन ठीक है जी तो what will happen to this equation? इससे क्या बन बन जाएगा This will become p plus डी पी ठीक है जी माइनस पी बिकॉज बिकॉज दिस इज वन नाउ ठीक है जी एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो वन तो माइनस पी इज इक्वल uh, टू इसको मैं उस तरफ ले जाता हूँ एफ डी एन ठीक है जी या आई कैन से कि ये पी पी विल कैंसल तो दिस uh, मीन्स के uh, हमारे पास डी पी इज इक्वल टू एफ डी एन ठीक है जी ना डी पी इज इक्वल टू एफ डी एन सो ये हमारे पास दो इक्वेशंस अभी बने ठीक है जी इफ वी टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डी एन जो कि हमने यहाँ पे डिराइव किया है एंड पुट इट इन दिस इक्वेशन 
so what will be um, we we have is that dp is equal to f and instead of dn i'll put p d theta theek hai ji so if i do that um, and uh, then separate the variables so agar variable separate karu ya balki is p ko is taraf le aao to i'll have dp by p equal to f d theta theek hai ji now uh, in order to to uh, to find uh, ye to humne we we took the this a very very small angle and that was p plus dp so in order to find p1 and p2 what we need to do is we need to integrate um, this um, uh, this equation uh, with the limits from uh, p2 to p1 and integrate this through the whole uh, phi theek hai ji to 0 to phi theek hai ji now if we integrate that uh, this is going to be uh, the equation uh, or a log of p1 over p2 equal to f phi ya hum is tarah se likh sakte hain ke p1 over uh, p2 is equal to e to the power f uh, phi ठीक है जी अच्छा नाउ व्हाट इज पी वन एंड पी टू पी वन इज द टेंशन इन द बैंड ऑन दिस साइड एंड पी टू इज द टेंशन ऑन द बैंड ऑन दिस साइड ठीक है जी एंड और एफ इज द कोफिशंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड फाइ इज द एंगल ऑफ रैप ठीक है जी तो now this is the equation and you might have seen this equation in in a different form um probably if you recall your uh, solid uh, so, sorry if you recall your um uh let's say um statics and dynamics course there was an experiment that you performed in the, in the solid mechanics lab and probably you wrote this equation uh, with another notation which was t1 over t2 equal to exponent of uh, mu theta theek hai ji it's just a, a difference of notation but now in now you know where this equation comes from and in that case you are you are finding this mu or the coefficient of friction in that experiment if you recall theek hai ji acha ab dekhe now what is uh, torque equal to um torque is equal to force times um the uh, ya yahan pe agar main likh likh lu so torque is equal to force times uh, uh, force times yahan pe is case mein radius theek hai ji so force times radius and, and and so rt will be equal to the difference between the two tensions uh, the tension on one side and the tension on the other side so that is going to give us the force ठीक है जी तो दिस विल बी आर फोर्स एंड डी बाय टू डी इज द डायमीटर ऑफ द ड्रम डी बाय टू इज गोइंग टू बी द रेडियस ठीक है जी तो यहाँ पे अगर हम हम देखें एंड सिमिलरली हमारे पास डी uh, एन जो है uh, अगर आप देखें तो <coughs> what is the n uh, equal to if you look over here uh, what is basically the n the n is here what is the n this is force theek hai ji so can we say dekhe uh okay so what we we can see here is uh, let's say um if we talk about stress ya yeah, if we talk about uh, pressure so what is pressure equal to ya yeah, bearing pressure ya yeah, uh, the, the between the two uh, surfaces agar hum isko ko dekhe ya stress ki definition kya hai it is force divided by area theek hai ji now uh, this area is going to be the bearing area so the area of um, the um, uh, yahan pe agar hum dekhe to can, can i say ke dn is the force theek hai ji so force will be equal to from this equation 
हमारे पास फोर्स क्या बन जाएगा फोर्स विल बी इक्वल टू प्रेशर टाइम्स एरिया ठीक है जी तो इफ पी इज द प्रेशर तो देन आर डी थेटा इज द आर्क द एरिया ऑफ द आर्क सॉरी देंथ ऑफ द आर्क एंड लेंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय बी where b is the width of the band and the band is not going to be just simply like this but it is going to have some uh, some width or wo width kya hoga uh, it's going to be like this theek hai ji so if this dimension here if this is b theek hai ji and this dimension from uh, here to here this is rd theta so the area of this is b times rd theta theek hai ji फॉर द फॉर द फॉर द जो डी थिएटर हमारे पास आर्क था ठीक है जी तो दिस इज गोइंग टू बी दी एरिया ठीक है जी सो पी बी आर डी थिएटर एंड वी नो दैट डी एन इज इक्वल टू पी डी थिएटर तो फ्रॉम हियर हमारे पास क्या हो जाएगा कि डी थिएटर इज गोइंग टू कैंसल विद डी थिएटर एंड हमारे पास प्रेशर जो है प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू देंशन डिवाइडेड बाय बी आर ठीक है जी वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट आर इन टर्म्स ऑफ डायामीटर विच विल बिकम डी बाई टू सो आर पी इज इक्वल टू टू पी ओवर बी डी ठीक है जी या अगर हम देखें तो मैक्सिमम प्रेशर जो है हमारे पास कहाँ पे होगा एट द टू विच इज Uh, on this side that is uh, p1 so what will be um, the um, what will be um, the pressure the maximum pressure that we have uh, if we insert the value of this p which is p1 so that will become 2p1 divided by b times d theek hai ji to ye hamara maximum pressure hoga aapke band break ke um, case mein ठीक है जी सो सो दिस इज अबाउट दी बैंड ब्रेक कि हम जब बैंड ब्रेक डिजाइन करेंगे तो व्हाट डू वी हैव कि हम व्हाट विल बी दी दी टॉर्क ठीक है जी टॉर्क कितना होगा सिमिलरली पी वन एंड पी टू और उससे जो रिजल्टिंग मैक्सिमम प्रेशर होगा वो कितना होगा विच इज योर पी ए ठीक है जी तो दिस वॉज अबाउट बैंड ब्रेक ठीक है जी अच्छा जी सो नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस फ्रिक्शनल कॉन्टेक्ट एक्जियल सिंगल प्लेट क्लच एंड एज एज आई सेड दैट यू हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लचेज and and those clutches include uh, jo jo uh, aapke um, this uh, single plate clutch theek hai um you have uh, a single plate clutch um you have multiple uh plate clutch and uh, we can have a cone clutch uh, you would have seen these uh, used in your uh, auto ya yeah, cars wagaira mein istemal hote hain both single and uh, multiple plate clutch clutches um, since this has multiple uh, plate clutches so there is a, a more transmission in this theek hai a uh, cone clutch uh, is is another type uh, this is generally uh, well this is one of the first ones um, and even now it is used in uh, race cars um, you can also have a centrifugal uh, clutch um, that 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 is uh, used theek hai so uh, first of all let's let's talk about this uh, axial um, uh <coughs> single plate axial clutch uh if you look at this figure so you can see 
that in this figure there is this um, uh, a ठीक है जी a and uh, this a is basically the flywheel of uh, that is attached to an engine ठीक है जी then uh, we have this um, um, on this side this is uh, the pressure plate uh okay uh, and if you look over here so there is a um, this spring okay um, and in between here this one is the frictional plate uh the black that you see that is basically the frictional material so uh, only one side of it is shown uh the 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 flywheel is basically uh connected to uh the engine to so, aapka engine yahan pe this is this will be your engine here and the flywheel is connected to the engine through a shaft right uh but this shaft over here is uh, is not uh yahan pe jo ye jo shaft hai which is connected to this uh, plate that is independent of this shaft right uh, there is a bearing over here c um, which you push uh, and uh, apply force on in order to engage and disengage uh, this uh, uh, frictional plate um, if this is engaged so the the frictional plate becomes a sandwich it is sandwiched between the pressure plate and the flywheel so this becomes a one assembly this whole thing becomes one assembly and whatever whatever is attached on this side of the pressure plate uh, the the uh, uh, attached on this side of the yeah which attached on this side to the uh, frictional plate that also rotates when the engine rotates or power is transmitted um uh to 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 that theek hai ji so basically this side of the shaft that is connected to the gearbox then uh and then from the gearbox to the uh, driving shaft and then to your wheels theek hai ji and this is the output from the engine that comes in here so uh, there it is not limited to just one plate as i said that there can be multiple plates so you can put multiple plates and that is probably shown in the next figure uh yahan pe agar aap dekhe to uh, this these are multiple uh, plates that you would see over here uh, aap multiple plates bhi dal sakte hain in this figure um for the clutch theek hai ji now uh, how does it look like uh, uh, basically let, let me show you um a a real picture of it um and uh, if we can see the real picture of it that would be probably that probably would be very nice you know uh yahan pe agar aap dekhe i'll uh, share that with you and I, i haven't seen it so let's see it together uh what kind of animation this is uh let's see i just need the picture from there okay so uh this is probably a, a better picture uh dekhiye ऑपरेशन when you apply uh, force on this what happens is that uh, you move this uh, there is a bearing a sliding bearing over here you move this bearing and uh, the 
this is released so this moves on this side okay um let me see oh my god so uh you can see that when the the pedal is pressed over here so this moves on this side uh, and uh, and then your um, um clutch is basically you are not touching this this frictional plate is not touching the flywheel so the power is not transmitted uh in that case but uh, when you when you um when you remove your foot from here when you are not applying force so this whole thing becomes one assembly and then power is transmitted and there can be multi as as i said that this is just a single plate but it can be multiple plates okay uh, now so now um, what we are going to do is we are going to look at uh, the the frictional uh, plate and uh, this is basically how the frictional plate looks like in real okay um <clears throat> over here uh, there is this uh, there are these uh, there is this uh, frictional material uh, throughout the diameter and um, uh, we have um, these uh, springs over here they basically they are for um, you know taking the shear uh, forces or or eliminating the vibrations um this goes inside uh, a shaft okay inside a spline shaft and that is how you connect it but basically um uh, if you look over here so the frictional material is uh, like a donut over here on on the frictional uh, plate okay uh if we look at the um, the model the simplified uh, figure Uh, so this is going to look like this uh, let's say that we have uh, the the this is the frictional plate and uh, the frictional material starts from here uh, with with the <coughs> inner dia equal to small d okay and uh, the outer dia equal to capital d uh, let's say uh and this is the the view from the side okay this is how it's going to look like okay, this is the frictional acha uh, ji and how, uh, you have seen in the animation that we apply force on this so this is basically the actuation force that we are going to apply in order to actuate this uh, clutch okay so for this purpose in order to analyze this find the actuation force and the torque transmitted by this kind of clutch uh, let's take um a um a small strip uh of the frictional uh plate uh, which has a thickness of dr and uh, it is uh, uh, at radius r from the center theek hai ji so uh, now looking at this uh, let's see uh, we have a, when we are using clutches or uh, brakes basically there are two different models theek hai ji और वो मॉडल जो हैं दे आर वन इज नोन एज दू मॉडल्स दैट वी वुड यूज दोज आर दंबर वन इज यूनिफॉर्म प्रेशर मॉडल and the second one is a uh, uniform wear model basically uh, this model is uh, for a new clutch and this one is when a clutch becomes old so in that case we apply the uniform wear model though there is not a lot of difference in here uh, but what what is assumed over here is that when the clutch is new so it will exert pressure on the area that is in contact with this uh, frictional uh, portion of the plate 
throughout that should be the same in the friction the the pressure will will remain uh, constant throughout jahan pe bhi aap pressure lenge that will be the same theek hai ji but when the clutch becomes old then your uniform wear model applies this that means that since uh, this is frictional material and this frictional material is going to wear out um uh, 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 you know uh during the process of engagement and disengagement and therefore uh we say that when this is engaged there is some slip so the wear in in that big is uniform throughout any pressure is not uniform pressure is not uniform in uh, the uniform wear model but wear is uniform in the amount of uh, uh material that would be um that would come out of of this uh, clutch during engagement that will be the same throughout the surface throughout this surface theek hai ji the frictional surface so these are the two models that are used now in case of uniform wear model uh, just remember that uh, in case of uniform wear model aapka jo p times r hai na that remains constant पी आर रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट या हम ये लिख सकते हैं कि पी मैक्सिमम टाइम्स आर आई वट इज आर आई आर आई इज दउटर दउटर डायामीटर देखें अगर हम यहाँ पे देखें लेट से दैट वी कॉल दिस वी कॉल दिस आर आई राइट so if we are using the uniform wear model this is your r not theek hai ji so in order to have this constant any aapka yahan pe let's say uh, there is some p p not is jagah pe since the pressure is not constant to yahan pe p not hai aur yahan pe p uh, let's assume that that is p i to p i times r i should be equal to p not times r